Hi, it's Joe from Bill Did It, coming at you live from my living room. Wanted to show you an interesting, um, an interesting opportunity in terms of opening up your playing with using our uh, Cody clutch, uh, hi-hat drop clutch, and the Cody wash control in combination. And this is especially targeted at uh, punk, thrash, metal, guys who play a more uh, aggressive style at those, uh, at those drummers. Now, this issue was brought to me by uh, Flo Meunier, the great metal drummer from Montreal. And it started as an issue, but when I started to think about it, I realized that what we in fact have here is a great opportunity to give uh, more aggressive drummers even more freedom in the way they play. Now, your typical metal drummer will set the hats very tightly together. So they'll set the clutch so that the hats are spaced well, about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch apart, the way I've got them spaced right now. Now the reason behind that is that typically they've got both feet on the double bass pedal and they're not operating the hi-hat clutch, but they still want, when they strike the hi-hats, to have both cymbals ringing, not, not just the top cymbal. It's a much richer sound if top and bottom hat are, are ringing. So that tighter space allows that to happen. These aren't the greatest hats in the world, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you understand that you want both both symbols ringing. Now, why did that issue? Why does that present an issue with our drop clutch? Now, if the drop clutch has disengaged, in other words, the top symbol has fallen, you can actually strike it hard enough with with such tight um, clutch setting that it will jump up and re-engage. Right, remember, this is magnetic, so the uh, the steel the steel um, crown will actually jump up and engage, which is not what you want to have happen. So I started thinking about that and I realized that there is really no reason to ever have to fool around trying to set your hat spacing so tight ever again now that we have the Cody wash control. Now the wash control is basically an extensible spring, simple little gadget, little patented gadget, and if you close it, if you screw it together tightly, it's very short and it sits between your hats and you'll have more of a staccato sound when it's set short. And when you open it up, you can use it to set the wash, to set the gap between your cymbals. Now, I'm going to show you how that plays out. I've got a, a wash control in between these cymbals right now. So if I open this up, Very simple operation that you could actually do between numbers. See, I've already got my gap set. I've already got my gap set, and that's without the clutch engaged at all. Okay, I can even just take that off there. So you don't have to fool around trying to get your clutch in the right spot. The wash control does it for you. And when you put your clutch on, well, you can set it basically anywhere you want it to be and it only engages when you step down on the pedal so now you've got lots of control but your default position where you're going to be 99 percent of the time is to have it sitting is to have it sitting on the wash control nice and washy never have to fool around trying to set your clutch position exactly right again just let the wash control do it and when you want control of your hats again, step down and you've got it. Simple as that.